Vivo is the result of a meeting with my producer for Vio Panlisco. We met because he had commissioned me for a job as a freelancer. From there, the idea was born to start a common path. Uh, from outside, it may seem that Vivo is just me, but mm, of course it is not. Uh, Vivo Ballet is a very complex structure mm, divided between two nations, uh, US and Italy. With rare exception, the artistic activity takes place uh, in the US. The company is directed by Amy Elizabeth, in charge for all the company's activities. In Rome, uh, we carry mainly training activities. We have selected dancers from around the world, although most come from the US. Uh, these dancers are starting a program that vary from three months to two years. Mm, I share the view artistic directions with my wife Elizabeth Minutoli. Without her, I could not do anything. And the theme also includes Marco Sabatini and Roberta De Lorenzis. Uh, the choice to operate ex exclusively abroad and mostly in the US has been a choice of freedom, of lightness. Because uh, I think that the Italian dance is too bound by the ministerial grant system. Um, I think it deserves a deep reflection on it. Um, in recent years, I have seen very valuable companies penalized company were able to do collaborations with foreign realities and at the same time I saw growing policies favoriting the young artists putting age before talent. Um, when we launched the Vivo project my only condition was to phase apart outside the grant system. A few years later I'm pleased to say that it was a right decision for us, but let me be clear, I have nothing against the system of subsidies in Italy, but I think at least for now it's not a system that, that is right for me. Oh. Mm. I will not go as a bohemian at all costs, but although dance has an important role in my life, it is not what defines me. Uh, what defines me is something different. The dance is for me nothing more than the translation of my personal vision of a beauty. Mm, dance is part of an important way in a personal journey uh, that is more complex. In this sense, mm, it's a means, important, uh, significant, accompanying me on this journey of life. I will say that is a traveling companion. More so the point is for my choreography to feed me. It's quite difficult. Peter Ingrao in his last interview said uh, I don't have much time but you have. Uh, you have to think that the things we are talking about ask you to become a bit like a monks. That is to marry a convention and decide that this may change a bit of your life and may be started to change at least a little also the others. Monk in Italian, Monaco, comes from Monacos. That means united. I think it's important for an artist to remain united with his art but above all remain united with himself. 
man consists of three parts body, soul and mind and I believe it's essential to apply this uh, monasticism, this union to our business by giving us a kind of a daily discipline. Uh, personally, I wake up every morning at 5.30 to devote time um, to my souls. So I like to collect myself in the silent down and dedicate myself to contemplation and prayer. And that's what I do for my soul. My job helps me a lot to take care of the body. But in any case, I try to not exceed in the food and wine and even less good is my beloved Tuscan cigars, the mind. I realize that through the care of the mind, I can also appease the idle toe, uh, emancipate from the fears of tomorrow and, and fight the ego. Uh, this to some extent helps me rest. Mostly I read and write, mm, particularly in the recent time I have become nurtured and guided by the work and words of Luigi Verdi, which has stimulated a lot of these thoughts. Um, I try to apply this discipline in any part of the world, and in Italy you have to deal with fatigue, but you soon get uh, used to it. I have no idea. As I told you before, when I'm in the face of creation, I try to make myself as permeable as possible to the beauty and the man. Uh, at this stage, some information come to me clearly, others come more subtle, often not even realized I have uh, acquired this stimuli. Um, I think some may even come out at the stage of realization of the work. The concept is a bit complex. As I told you before, when someone fell asleep during a dance show, it's not because he is not seeing anything, rather because he's not feeling something. This is because he is not fluid with energy. He is not uh, transported, he is not moved. And I believe that uh, in the theater, it's not the choreography that excites. I think it's the dancers that excite. So I try to create the changes that put dancers at easy, then send out. Uh, I stimulate and help them in this difficult task to excite. Hmm. I guess that any artistic act is a translation. The artist tries to return to the world this uh, motion filtered through his own personality, translating it into the field precisely. In the dance, the matter is the body, uh, or rather the human being. Then the translation in material passing through the being obligated to be present uh, in the moment in which this translation occurs. So, this gives us a living art materialization, so mutable, and it grants us the greatest of the possibility being present. We often underestimate this being there, as we underestimate the concept of being. Uh, think of the woman who remained at the foot of the cross after the death of Christ. If they had scumbed to death, if they had gone away, 
who would have spread the news of resurrection? Thinking about it. If this woman had no had the courage to stand, to be there, the greatest message of human history, the most powerful one, the greatest hope, would not have been revealed. I think the artist must have the courage to materialize through the presence. So being immersed in our time, leaving our art, always looking for new ideas that help the people to rediscover themselves. If, if only for, an, uh, for a moment, I, I, I don't say that we can produce a radical change, but we can trigger a doubt. We can, uh, we must, we must be a virus and we must have the courage to be. We have to stand on a negative sheen to be able to announce a resurrection message. I will never dare to introduce spiritual explanation or give spiritual guidance to my dancers or anyone. It's something too big and too dangerous for me. When I speak, I speak of my experience, but the story doesn't teach. The idea of communicating spirituality scares me a little. Um, it sounds proselytizing. Uh, my ideas of spirituality relative to my private sphere. I don't deal with spiritual or religious themes or mystics. I speak simply of man, his frailty, but also his inner strength. Whatever I do in a spiritual way or not, it's a public evaluation. Surely spirituality belongs to my person and in this sense I believe that it conditions my job but because it conditions my whole life. I think the only thing possible for an artist is to be a witness which is already a challenging task. After all, art is a sewing activity. Growth is thinking something higher.